Hi there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we will talk about how we can download and install Kimu virtualization software in Windows 11. So without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so here we can see we are in our computer screen and I already have opened Kimu official website. So here you can see that Kimu supports Linux, macOS and Windows and primarily Kimu is very popular in case of Linux. But now we can also install it in Windows. So let's do it. For that, let's click here on Windows tab. Now here what we need to do is we need to click here on this 64 bit link from where we can download the binary. So let's click here on this exe file and click on start download. And there we go guys, we have successfully downloaded it. Now let me go back here. Now after downloading this 64 bit binary installer, I'm gonna make double click on it. And then here, let me select English. And then here you simply need to install it. After that, let's click here on finish. And if we type here Kimo, I may not able to find it. And because of the reason, we have not completely installed it. Now the next thing here we need to do is, we need to install this msys2. And let's click here and open it in another tab. And here again, we can see there is another exe, which we have just downloaded. Now again, let's open this. And now we need to follow this instruction. So let's click here on next and then here we can create this folder let's click again next and then here let's click again next and there we go we are basically installing this mysys2 setup in the folder that we have defined now let's wait for a while till msys2 is ready to be used and there we go let's click here on run msys2 and then I believe we also need to install the Pac-Man. So let's copy this command and paste it here. Now let me hit enter. And here we go. Here we are downloading more number of packages. Let's click Y and hit enter. After installing everything, now let's come back to our Kimu website. And now here we need to type following command. So let's copy this. And now I'm gonna paste the same here. And now let's press enter. Let's again press Y. And now here we can see the download process has begun. And finally, now we can see our installation process is completed. Now let me minimize it. After installing Kimu Windows 64 bit setup, what we need to do is we need to get a GUI for it. So by default, Kimu does not come with any GUI. So for that, what we need to do is we need to visit the following page that I'm gonna provide you in the description of this video. And here, thanks to this developer, Every credit goes to him who have developed this UI for Kimu. So here it's up to you whether you want to go with installer based or you want to go with portable based. Here I have chosen the installation one. So let me quickly download it by pressing here on go. And here we go. We are downloading GUI for Kimu. And finally, we have downloaded it. Now, let me click here on open folder. Now, let me run this Kimu setup. Let's click on next, next, A accept the license. Again, click on next and install it. After successful installation, let's click here on finish. And now we can actually run this Kimu. Now, let's type here the interface name, which was QTEMU. 
now let's run it as administrator and now here we need to make some configuration the first one here is to specify the chemo binary path so let's click here on this folder now we need to locate the chemo installation so basically we are connecting our gui with chemo installation which is inside program file so let me go here in program file and then here we have got this chemo now let me go inside lib folder which is this folder now let me click on select folder now the second thing here is we need to specify the chemo image path so that again should be in same place which is c drive program file and then here chemo this is same 64 bit exe file that we have installed in past now let me quickly locate chemo image.exe which is this one now the last thing here we need to locate is chemo machine path so let's click here and now here you actually can define the path where you would like to keep the machine i can actually keep them inside document and i can create a new folder here named qvm and in this way guys we have completed whole configuration you can also customize or define port number i'm going to keep it as default now let's click on finish and now here you can define new machine based on your requirement and can get started so in this way guys we have successfully installed chemo inside windows 11 with gui i hope guys you find this video helpful and informational if yes then do like and subscribe to technoholic to see more such content and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye